Please Jeep, we have a 1963 Volkswagen camper van. Lots of cars to have a lot of fun in. And how many of these cars can we actually expect at launch? Over 200 available for everyone at launch at no extra cost. All right, so it is an open world. There has got to be a ton of things to do. So can you take us through some of the race types? So to go with that massive car list, we have to have a huge list of things to do. So along with all the races, point to points and circuits you'd expect, we have a lot of uh, Horizon special uh, events. We have showcases, which are coming back from the first game. You'll race against planes, against a train. Um, we have oh, so cool. bucket lists for you to do specific challenges for each car. We have hundreds of collectibles. We have got barn finds coming back. There's so much for you to do and find. So what kind of exploration sort of stuff can we look forward to? One of the, the things we decided right at the start of this game was to, to knock away all the barriers, all the walls. We should only have barriers where they exist in real life. And what that means is the world is yours to explore. One minute you can be on a road or a freeway, the next you'll be careering across a field or through a forest. It's a lot of fun just to see where your car takes you. So what made you guys choose Southern Europe as a setting? And because we can create a bigger map, because we have more detail to play with, we thought let's do France, but let's also do, let's go across the border into Italy, some amazing rolling scenery, epic vistas, the city of Nice, some historic towns as well. So there's incredible variety in this uh, landscape. And does the weather have any effect on, on the races themselves? Not only does it change the handling, you know, as you'd expect, the, the, the road gets wet, it gets slippier, it affects every car, every tyre compound differently, um, but also the spray that's kicked up by other competitors, you know, the rain on your windscreen, your wind, windscreen wipers going on full, all of that just changes up the gameplay experience and the racing. I mean, there's been a lot made of the, the sort of seamless transition from the single player to the multiplayer. Can you tell us why exactly that is? First and foremost, we want everyone to be able to play Horizon 2 with their friends. I think it's a better experience when you play it with others. I think one of the things that maybe puts some people off online multiplayer is that it can sometimes be a bit of a chore to get into. So we've taken away all that friction. Now, you mentioned them before briefly, but tell us more about those bucket list challenges because they sound pretty cool. Yes, they're great fun to find. So we have 30 cars hidden around the world each with a specific challenge created by our designers. Uh, you have to go and find them and then you have to beat that challenge in each of those cars. And as you go through the list, you'll be crossing off those lists. You really want to complete that whole bucket list. 30 things you must do before you leave. Before you leave Horizon this summer, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Now, lastly, with Forza Horizon so close on the Horizon. You guys have just announced the new social meets and the sort of like social events things. Can you tell us a little bit more about those? Car meets is another part of this push we have to allow you to enjoy Horizon 2 with your friends. And it's it's not about beating people, it's not about winning. A car meet is just really a social place that you can go within the world. You pull up